another account which was new without the other uh, input. Ladies and gentlemen, I was worried. I have worked on it. Uh, I've got the answer prepared for you and then I'll get Docker's to load it for you tomorrow. But Thank today, Thank I, you. Just want, I just want to quickly go through it. You know, I, I can give you an answer, but rather than give you a fish, I should show you how to catch a fish. Isn't that uh, making sense? Hence today, I just want to show you quickly uh, how that particular exercise is done. I'm going to be quick. I'm not going to too, go into too much explanation. This is an exercise the way it was looking. They say the purchaser is to pay the deposit of 100,000. You are required to invest in the deposit in an interest bearing account for the benefit of the purchaser. The balance of the purchase price is guaranteed by an ABC bank guarantee uh, against registration of the first mortgage bond. The purchaser is able to the purchaser is also liable for payment of all transfer duties. And then on the first, Happy pays the deposit of 100,000 rent. I'm going to be quick, ladies and gentlemen, because we have gone through this yesterday. If Happy, this is a trust cash book. Trust cash book. He pays a hundred thousand rent as a deposit. A hundred thousand rent as a deposit. It's happy trust. The steps are key, ladies and gentlemen. I know everything has to balance, but the steps are key because you're getting a mark for 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 that particular hundred thousand of happy trust. And when you have open a happy trust account, happy trust account. It's another account that should be debited. We debit the trust cash book. We receive 100,000 rent from Happy. Happy is a trust creditor in our business. And then we have a trust cash book, an amount of 100,000 rent. I just do in the folio page to indicate the first just as a reference, it will help you later when we do the reconciliation. There, we received the 100,000 rent from Happy, and then we have Happy Trust. They, they say the purchaser pays the check of 8,000 rent for the performer cost. Happy again pays 8,000 rent. We receive 8,000 rent from Happy, 8123. Happy Trust again. And in Happy Trust, we credit Happy Trust with Trust Cash Book or bank, an amount of 8,000 rand. 8,000 rand. This is for cost, transfer cost, including uh, transfer duty. You pay transfer duty for an amount of 3,500. It means that the practice pay 3,500 for, for transfer duty to South African Revenue Service. Now we open happy business account. Happy business account. We also have to open a business cash book. We also have to open a business cash book. Business cash book out of our business cash book we paid for transfer duty happy becomes a, a data in our business happy business account we paid for him 3500 sorry ladies and gentlemen we paid 3,000, yeah, yeah, hey, hey, happy business, happy business, business account, 3,500. That's correct, happy business, 3,500. Can you see? It's a little bit blurry to me. 
Yeah, it is. Is it? It is. You can see. It is blurry. Much better. We, we, we better. Paid, yeah, yeah, we paid out of the cash book, and then Happy becomes a creditor, becomes a debtor in our books, in the business books, is business cash book. An amount of uh, 3,500. 3,500. Happy became a debtor in our books of business. ABC Bank gives you a guarantee of 200,000 rent. I said that there's nothing to be done. They just guarantee that as at the date of registration of the property, they will make available 200,000 rent as a loan to happy. Your, your bank advises that the check of 8,000 rand from the purchaser has been dishonored. Whatever we received from Happy, this 8,000 rand has been dishonored. Because we, deb we debited the cash book, now it dishonored. We have to say Happy Trust again. Dishonored check or payment. An amount of 8,000 rand, it cancels it. And we have to go to Happy Trust again because Happy was a head, we were owing him 108,000 rand, but the 8,000 rand has been dishonored. We cancel that 8,000 rand. Trust cash book. I'm going to be quick, ladies and gentlemen, because we have done this yesterday. It's just to correct that little mishap of yesterday. The purchaser pays you 8,000 rand by cash. Now that that particular payment was dishonored, now he pays by cash. We have to receive 8,000 rand. Yesterday, ladies and gentlemen, I said that we received, we split it into two because we've already paid for him. We opened the happy business cash book. Business cash book. There you are. We receive. 3,500 in, in the business cash book, we received 3,500 rent that we paid for him. We credit the cash book, it's from Happy Business. Happy Business. And we credit Happy Business account. We credit Happy Business account, it's from the business cash book an amount of 3500 rent now because he paid us with cash an amount of 8000 rent an amount of 8000 rent with cash there is another 4500 which will be for transfer costs we receive only 35 3500 rent in the in the business cash book the other 4,500 rand we receive in the trust cash book because we still have to, to do the transfer for him. It's not yet due to us. We receive from Happy Trust. Happy Trust. 4,500. And then we go to Happy Trust account. Ladies and gentlemen, I had to juggle and find this and find that and find this happy trust account. I'm looking for happy uh, trust cash book. Here is a trust cash book. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, no, 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 no. Uh, here is a trust cash book, ladies and gentlemen. In fact, we received in the happy in the trust cash book four thousand five hundred from Happy Trust. 
this amount, because we received from Happy, is, is 4,500. It has to go to the credit side. We received it in the trust case book 4,500. And then this is trust cash book. Debit and credit, trust cash book and happy trust. We accounted for that 8,000 rent that has been received. They said the transfer and the bond are registered. Ladies and gentlemen, they said you are required to invest the deposit in an interest bearing account for the benefit of the purchaser. That's the amount. The amount that we received from Happy in the trust cash book. We received a hundred thousand rent and then was supposed to be deposited in an investment account. It means that we go to the section. 86 for investment. It was we take the same hundred thousand rent that he deposited in the trust cash book. We invest it in another account called the. Investment account. It's an investment account. You credit the trust cash book with that amount of 100,000 rent. And then you you debit the investment account a section 80, 86. Section 86 4. In brackets 4, it's from trust cash book, an amount of a hundred thousand rand. David there, section 86 for investment for happy, and a hundred thousand rand. Uh, you, 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 you credit the trust cash book. It means that this amount is still held in trust. It's still held in trust for the benefit of the, the purchaser. And ladies and gentlemen, as at when on the 25th, they say the transfer and the bond are registered. The interest on the investment is 1,400. You debit your fee account to Mr. Lucky for the purchase price and Mr. Happy. It means that on the 25th, we retrieve this amount. The, the same amount that we invested. The same amount that we invested, it's withdrawn. Because registration is taking place. It goes back to the trust cash book again. It's 100,000 rent. You credit the investment account, trust cash book with 100,000 rent. You credit the trust cash book. Uh, you debit the trust cash book with that investment that has been withdrawn. You deposit again in the trust cash book. It's from the section 86 for withdrawal. And an amount of 100,000 rand. But on the same date as you withdraw it, you earn interest of 1,400 rand. An interest of 1,400 rand. What do you do with the interest? I have uh, mentioned it yesterday that the Law Practice Council for a Section 86 for investment, they say out of the interest that is invested specifically for a for a person you're holding money in trust for in this 86 uh, for account, 95% go to the to the trust creditor. And 5% low to go to the legal practice fidelity fund, legal practitioners fidelity fund. Now it's 1,400. We have established yesterday that uh, out of that 1,400, 95% is 1330. It's 1330. Now happy in his trust account, he earns interest from that investment, interest, 13, 30. 
let me make sure, ladies and gentlemen, it's 4,000. It's 1,400. Multiply by 95%. It's 1,330. His trust act value that we hold for him increases by 1,330 interest. The same amount comes into the bank account, the trust cash, uh, trust, trust cash book. You, we, we credited happy with 1330 and we credit the trust cash book with 1330 interest there's a difference of 70 we debit the trust cash book with 1330 we credited Happy trust with 1330. There is a difference of 70 rands. The 70 rands goes to the Legal Practitioners Fidelity Fund. Legal Practitioners Fidelity Fund, which is 5%. Legal Practitioners Fidelity Fund, they are allocated 70 rands. And then we credit that we debit the trust cash book exactly the same amount 70 rent legal practitioners fidelity fund we accounted for the 1400 rents 70 rent into the legal practitioners fidelity fund and then we credited the trust cash book 70 rent they say you debit your fees and account to Mr. Lucky for the purchase price and Mr. Happy. We debit your fees. Uh, for all the fees, I have indicated that we have to do a, a fees journal for the fees. Fees journal. We open a fees journal. The debit side of the fees journal, the credit side of the fees journal. The fees journal is because we have made the transfer and usually the purchaser pays transfer fees. And they say we also have to account for VAT at 15%. We have to account for VAT at 15% there and the fees because we have rendered a service to mr happy through the transfer happy business is, is debited happy business i must remind you ladies and gentlemen that the cost of the transfer is a difference between 3500 and 8000 rent which is 4,500 is for the transfer, 4,500. Then the fees, we credit the fees with 4,500. The business ends fees. And then VAT at 15%, which is 0.15 multiplied by 4,500. It gives us 675 VAT, 675 VAT plus 4,500 is 5175, 5175. We debit happy business account with 5175, which is fees plus VAT, fees plus VAT. 5175. Exactly the same. Debit happy business. Do we have a happy business account? Let's not do the mistake we did yesterday. Here is a happy business account. The business account, happy's business account, they say we debit happy with 5175. There is fees plus VAT in happy business account. Fees plus VAT. 5175. 
and then who do we credit? We credit fees and credit vet vet output. Now in the business, we have to open the fees account and the vet account. Fees account. Fees account. And the vet account. Value added tax account. We credit fees with 4,500 is credited. 4,500. 4, and the VET account with 675. Happy business. The debt amount of 5,175, it consists of 4,500 plus vet happy business of six seven five four thousand five hundred both of them make that amount of five one seven five the same amount of five one seven five four thousand five hundred debit and credit both that's what we have done One key component is that uh, as at the date of registration, the bank, ABC Bank, uh, has uh, the transfer and the bond are registered. On the same date of registration, ABC Banks has to give us the guarantee of 200,000 rand. The guarantee of 200,000 rand has to be collected from the bank and we receive it in our in our trust cash book. Here is a trust cash book. We receive an amount of 200,000 rand. Happy trust. And then we go to happy trust account. Happy trust account because they gave him a loan. It's a loan that they gave him so that he could be in a position to to buy that property. We debited happy uh, the trust cash book with happy trust, and then in the trust in the happy trust we say trust cash book, an amount of two hundred thousand rand. Two hundred thousand rand. Now, ladies and gentlemen, but Happy is buying this, this this property. He's buying this property from Mr. Lucky. We haven't done any transactions with Lucky. Lucky is the seller. He's the seller. Now, Happy, he has enough money in his trust account to pay for the property. He has enough money in this trust account to pay for the property. We know it's 100, 300,000, 308, 8 minus 8, they cancel each other. And then we have 4,530. It's enough to cover the purchase price. What do we do? We know that we have enough in Happy Trust to cover the purchase price. Because we have enough, we have to transfer from Happy Trust and transfer to lucky trust the purchase price we have to open a another trust account which is mr lucky trust but before we open it 
we have to do a journal, which is a trust journal. Trust journal is used to transfer from one trust to the other trust. This is a trust journal. A debit, credit. Lucky, Happy has a credit in his. Happy Trust has a credit to transfer from Happy Trust. We have to debit Happy Trust. Debit Happy Trust with the purchase price, which is 300,000 rand. And then we have to credit Lucky Trust with 300,000 rand. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, and then it's a transfer of purchase price. That's a narration. Transfer of purchase price is 300,000 rand. With the same journal, we have to open the account called Lucky Trust. We open Mr. Lucky Trust. I know. Uh, here's the Mr. Lucky Trust. Mr. Lucky Trust is credited with 300,000 rand. It's from Happy Trust. Happy Trust, according to our journal, according to our journal, Happy Trust is debited. Then we go to Happy Trust account. We say, Mr. Lucky Trust. An amount of 300,000. Exactly. We posted whatever has happened in the trans, trust journal. I said trust journal is used to transfer from one trust to the other trust account. That's what we, we used between two trust account. Exactly, we have accounted for that. We have accounted for that. Now that we have transferred, we see that there are there are amounts that are left in Happy Trust. And then for the buyer, it's easy. We have to pay the buyer. We have to pay the buyer, uh, the seller, whatever is due to him. Who's our seller? Our seller is is Mr. Lucky. Since we have money in trust, which used to belong to, which used to belong to Mr. Happy, but it's a precious price that is due to Mr. Lucky. How do we pay the the seller? We go to our trust cash book. There's a trust cash book. The trust cash book, we have money. The seller, there are no complications relating to the seller. We, we issue a payment, an EFT payment to the seller, who is Mr. Happy. Mr. Happy Trust, we pay him. Because already we have transferred it into his account, which is a Happy Trust, and he, it's, he's entitled to it, which is 300,000 rand. And then we go to. Um, I'm not sure you mean that you're paying it to Mr. Lucky. Mr. Lucky Trust. Yes, thanks very much. Mr. Lucky Trust. Thanks very much. Mr. Lucky Trust. We pay Mr. Lucky Trust what is due to him. And then we go to Mr. Lucky Trust. Mr. Lucky Trust. Lucky, happy, I'm confusing, ladies and gentlemen. Because we paid him from the trust cash book, we paid him 300,000 rand. That is due to him. This account, we have done with it. There's nothing more to be done regarding Mr. Lucky. I'm putting him aside. We, we, we have dealt with Mr. Lucky. Sorry, but, sir. If I, may, yes. if I may, about that 70 rent for vets, is Mr. Happy not supposed to account for it as well? 
Mr. Happy to account for that. No, no. I, I'll come to to that 70 rams. I'll Rams, come to it. Right. I'll, I'll come to it. I'll come to it. Uh, interrupt me when I made a mistake like that. But there, just a correction, I, I'm still going to deal with that. You want to deal with the 70 rent? I, I can see she wants to deal with the 70 rent. Ladies and gentlemen, um, the 70 rent is a portion of 5% of the investment which we say that that particular amount is due to the legal practitioner's fidelity fund. We have it in trust here. You can see it is here in trust. And then we owe legal fidelity, legal practice fidelity fund 70 rand. What we can do that he asked about it, we can pay the legal practice fidelity fund. Legal practice fidelity fund. We pay them their 70 rand that is due to them this month. You, 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 you debit, you credit the trust cash book and then the legal practitioners fight lady to fund. And then you, you, you debit the trust cash book. We, we give them a payment of 70 rand. This account is closed. Here, ladies and gentlemen, we receive all the money that we receive that don't belong to the practice. We receive it in trust. We received it in here on behalf of the legal practice fidelity fund. Please mute, ladies and gentlemen. There's somebody who's noisy that side. I, I get feedback, ladies and gentlemen. There's somebody who's there's a feedback. Can you hear me? Uh, there is this person. You. Sylvester, uh, let him mute. You can hear me. Let yes. 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 Now. Yes. We the can reason hear is you. that. Yes. We paid. Yeah. You can answer and mute. Thanks very much. We have paid the 70 rents to the legal practice fidelity fund. It means that this account is closed. We don't owe the legal practice fidelity fund anymore. Ladies and gentlemen, th there is one other key important thing. Uh, if you look at happy business, this is happy business account. Do you agree with me? Happy business account. But you see, happy owes the, the practice 5175. Happy owes the practice 5175. This is the, that's where we went a little bit blurry yesterday. I'm looking for a happy trust account. Ladies and gentlemen, in the business, in our practice, happy, you see 3,500, it, it, they cancel each other there. But there remains a debit of 5175. That debit of 5175 is what Happy owes to the practice. Happy owes the practice in the business account 5175. In trust, ladies and gentlemen, this is a trust account for Happy. While he owes us 5175 in our business account, the question is how much have we got in his trust account that he owes to us, that he holds. The only time you can transfer money from trust to business is to compare a trust account of a trust creditor and then you compare the business account of the same trust creditor where he's a debtor in your business. He's a debtor in our business in a sense that here is happy business. He owes us 5175. But now let's determine how much he, we hold for him. We hold, let's get the difference of the two and see what really is left in this particular business, in this particular happy trust account. It's 100,000 plus 8,000 plus 4,500 plus 1330. 
plus 200,000 is give me 313,880. 313,880. It gives me 313,880. 313,880. Ladies and gentlemen, you shouldn't worry. Uh, Docas will be giving you this in a type format. I've prepared it and then you'll you'll get it tomorrow. It's 313 And then out of 313 we have to subtract what is on the debit side. 313 less 8,000 less 300,000. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me that we are holding for happy in his happy trust account. We are holding for him 5,830. Happy owes us 5,175. We are holding for him 5,880. It means that we have enough money in trust that is due to that we are holding for happy, but happy owes us. Hence, we have to transfer between trust and business. The question is which, how do we transfer from trust, the money that is due to us, to business? We only transfer after having checked that we are holding enough that we can transfer. Then we have to do, because it's trust and business, we use a trust, we use a transfer journal. We transfer in value. You should remember that the 5175 that he owes us is for transfer fees for us as a conveyancer. We use transfer journal between business and trust. David, credit, transfer journal. We have money in Happy Trust. Happy Trust has an amount of money, but he owes us what 5175 we david happy trust we david happy trust with what he owes us which is 5175 happy trust account with 5175 and then we david happy business we credit happy business, sorry. Happy business account. Business account. With the same amount, 5175. We say, we narrate it as transfer of value. What is due to the business? We are transferring value from trust to a business to end what? we deserve for the transfer of the property 5175 you see those trans transfer journal that's what the transfer journal is said david trans trust account of happy and credit happy business we go to happy trust we debit him with 5175 he's happy trust we david happy trust we say happy business. <clears throat> five one seven five. And then we go to happy trust. The other account we have to to deal with is happy trust. Happy business, sorry. I beg your person. Happy business. We credit happy business with we we, we debited happy business, happy trust. And we carry it with happy trust here. Five one seven five. Ladies and gentlemen, if you look at this particular account, it means that happy doesn't owe us anything. Both amounts they cancel each other. Happy doesn't owe us anything. Who's this person? Double M. Please. Uh, happy. The reason we have transferred from 
trust to business. The reason that we have transferred it from trust, from his trust account to a business account, we know that that value is there now. Happy doesn't owe us anything. But to make sure that we get our value from Happy for what we have done, the business has to earn its money. We transferred from his trust to business, and the business is cancelled, means it doesn't owe us anything. We come to the trust cash book. In the trust cash book, we issue a payment. We issue a payment from the trust cash book. We issue that. In the past, we used to issue a check, but we an EFT. We issue a, an EFT from trust to business. We say EFT to business account to business cash book. Cash book. What value do we issue? It's five one seven five. That is due to the business. Five one seven five. We issue a trust payment. This payment comes from the trust cash book. It goes to the business cash book. It goes to the business cash book. Here is a business cash book. The business cash book received five one seven five from trust cash book. We received five one seven five. That is due. It's in our business account. We have five one seven five. Ladies and gentlemen, there was somebody who uh, one of you was so much in a hurry that we had to pay this uh, trust cash book. Uh, this we have we have done this. We have paid out of the trust cash book already because uh, one of the ladies jumped the gun and then we paid legal practitioners fidelity fund. It has been done with. But ladies and gentlemen, there's one other aspect I want you to consider in the happy trust account. It was 5175. That we have paid to. To business. But the most important thing is that. Uh, we were holding a certain amount of value for for happy, which was more than 5175. It was enough. That's why you check that there is enough money to transfer first. If the money is not enough. You transfer what is available. Supposing in Happy he was owing us 5175, but we had 4000 only. Our transfer was limited to what is available at that point in time, 4000. You can't exceed what is available. You transfer only what is due to you, subject to availability limitation. But here, we know that happy had even more now we have it was five eight three oh if i remember if you are with me ladies and gentlemen you are not sleeping it was five eight three oh that happy that we had for happy in his business we transfer five one seven five what is left is six hundred and fifty five in happy trust six hundred and fifty five in happy trust what needs to happen now? We're still holding 655 in happy trust. Now, what do we do? We have to pay happy what is due to him. The business, he has his, he got his uh, property. Now he paid for his property through a loan and all that, and then he paid some cash and everything. Now we are left with 655 in happy business. Let's pay happy what's due to him. We issue a trust check. We issue a trust check from the trust cash book. We say happy trust. Happy trust. I said 655, ladies and gentlemen. 655. It goes to Happy Trust. Uh, here is Happy Trust. He received from the trust cash book. He received cash book. He received 655. Ladies and gentlemen, it means that this credit side and the debit side of Happy Trust should be equal. 
uh, I will ask you to to add. Unfortunately, unfortunately, because of this marking pen. But but what is key to make sure that we we really balance? We have to come to the trust cash book and calculate if there is anything left in here. Is there anything that is left in here that we're supposed to? We have to add the, the, the right hand side and the left hand side. I'll start with the right hand side. It's 108,000 plus 4,500 plus 100,000 plus 1330. Plus seventy, plus two hundred thousand. I get four one three nine hundred. It gives me an amount of four one three nine hundred. Let me add the credit side. I've got eight thousand plus a hundred thousand. Plus three hundred thousand plus seventy plus five one seven five plus six fifty five. It gives me also four one three nine hundred. That's what we were supposed to do yesterday, ladies and gentlemen. That's how we balance the books after we have done an exercise like uh, I said I have prepared it. It's available. It's printed. Uh, Docas will upload it for you. This particular answer for question 11. Let's do question 12, ladies and gentlemen. Simon, I'm sorry. I know we are not supposed to ask questions now, but does that answers contain failure numbers for us to know exactly mm -hmm. or not? Uh, my answer has I have done for you numbers. I, I, I've done for you numbers for you. Here is okay, the answer that I've got. I've done uh, those folios. So you can reference the folios. They'll give you the information. OK, thank you. Welcome. Hi, man. Yes, sir. I believe the bank, um, we must we must equalize the bank, the fees and the VAT output. Just the, it's a finalization. Yes. Um, uh, uh, according to my records. Equalize what? The trust cash book we have done. We've got the balance of a debit on the business cash book for 5175, and we need to credit the fees account and the VAT output account. Uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, uh, um, the, the VAT output. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I think the VET output and the fees account. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the fees account. You you the fees is what you you produce. You are in business to to earn fees. And then the fees you take them into account at the end of um, of the year when you calculate your profits and then you, you take your income, you compare it against your expenses. Uh, your 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 income uh, is uh, fees, and you subtract your expenses, telephone, and all those, and then you say for the business at the end of twelve months of operation we have made so much income. I'm, I don't worry much about the fees account. Don't worry about it. Leave it as that because you will account for it next month. It will accumulate until the end of the year. After twelve months, you have a certain amount of fees, which is your income. You subtract the expenses of the business and you get the profitability of the business at that point in time. VAT, you account for VAT. There is a, you account every two months to, to based on your agreement with, 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 with uh, every two months, then you pay your VAT. You compare the debit side and the credit side. If the credit side is higher than the debit side for your, your outputs, then you have to, the difference you have to pay to the South African Revenue Service. Ladies and gentlemen, if you could remember that our trust, our business cash book, in our business cash book, we paid for, for HAPI, you remember? 
but our business cash book never had a balance. It never had a balance. The assumption is that the business, at least there is something in the business account, if it's not unfavorable. It may be unfavorable when we issue a payment because we have a, an agreement with the bank for an overdraft. It means that we can still pay while our account is negative. Hence, ladies and gentlemen, you can balance it and say at the end of the month, it's it's still 5175 and then you can pay the the vet that you owe uh, South African Revenue Service. Uh, I, I, I don't I don't think it's that critical, but you can pay vet. You remember, ladies and gentlemen, when we paid for for happy, when we initially paid for happy, our bank account was blank. We didn't have even a cent. But the assumption was that we always pay from the business cash book because it's either we have a, a facility with the bank or else we have money in the bank. Hence, we paid for him. That's why we didn't have a balance. But it's 5175. If you want to complete it, you can pay out of this, pay for VAT, send it to a receiver of revenue. Thank you, to sir. Balance it, to balance it. Yes, yes. All right. All right. Mr. Simon, please move the paper but up. I just want to see the business cash book. The business cash book. Yes, please. Here is, here is a business yeah, cash please book. Please move it up. I just want to see it. There's a business cash book, yes. Yeah, thank you. When we started, we paid for happy. At that point in time, there was nothing in here and we paid for happy. Yes. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Can I go to exercise 12? It's the same type of exercise. Um, nearly the same. Ladies and gentlemen, if you can master these two exercises that we are doing, I can tell you, you'll master convincing you'll be able to do conveyancing exercises. Hello, Simon. Could we be interactive on this one? Uh, as long as uh, there's so nobody in the background who's mowing the lawn and all those things. Ladies and gentlemen, you can listen and ask when it's necessary. But I, I, I feel it will impact on the flow. Um, the flow because uh, some of you ladies and gentlemen unfortunately uh, there is feedback noise on the back and uh, it will disturb other there is one student who complained saying that all of you have to be muted because uh, some of the students uh, they had background noises uh, i'm happy to deal with you as long as we all adults and we behave. If you know that uh, there is a noise, somebody you are at home now, mute your 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 mic so that you don't disturb others. And then if you you had enough, you can leave. Uh, and then those who want to concentrate and learn, and then we, we, we can. Uh, I'm open. For Thanks a lot. As long as we respect each other. Wonderful. Uh, ladies and gentlemen. You are approached by Mr. Molweni to attend to the transfer of his property to Mr. Smith for 1.5 million rand. The costs of transfer are to be paid by Mr. Smith. Where VET is indicated, it must be at 15%. It has increased. It is. You are client, Mr. Goodfellow, is a client of the business has in trust with you the sum of 500,000 rand, which he agrees to lend to Mr. Smith. On the 1st of March 2009, Mr. Smith uh, gives you the two checks, one for 300,000, the other for 112,500, being the deposit and the pro forma cost respectively. On the 1st of March, Mr. Smith gives you two checks, one for 300, the other one for, for then when you get money like that, you should know by now it is 
trust cash book. You receive money on behalf of a client. He pays you. Four hundred and twelve five hundred is Mr. Smith trust. Four one two five hundred. I hope I've added it correctly, ladies and gentlemen. Four one two five hundred. And then we, we we debit the trust cash book. You have to credit the other account. The other account is the Mr. Smith Trust. I'm doing it on the same sheet. Credit, David, Mr. Smith Trust account in the Trust Ledger. We hold in for him 412500. Trust cash. Four one two five hundred. On the second of March, you invest the deposit for the benefit of Mr. Smith. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, they say on behalf of Mr. Smith, we regis, we invest on his behalf part of the deposit uh, for his benefit on the 2nd of march you invest the deposit for the benefit of mr smith because here they say smith gives you two checks one two being the deposit, the deposit is 300 and the performer, performer is 112. Now the deposit is 300,000 rand. What happens if we invest it for him, the 300,000 rand, we, we send this amount of money, we invest it in the, it's a section 86 for oh. investment. Isn't it uh, 112,500 being the deposit? Uh, the 300,000 is the deposit. Uh, oh, okay, sorry. The investment account, the investment account for Mr. Smith is a section 86 for investment according to the LPC rules. It's an amount of 300,000 rand. Three hundred thousand rand. And then we open an, an, a, this investment account. We debited the cash book with 300,000 rand. You open an investment account, investment account for Mr. Smith, which is a section 86.4 account. And then this account receives it's invested an amount of 300,000 rand. It's from the trust cash book. Trust cash book. On the 10th of March, you pay the transfer duty for of 90,000 rand. The same story again, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the gentleman who asked me about balancing the accounts previously, uh, and I said we pay out of the business account. Those are the rules that, that we use, assuming that the business has money or it has an overdraft facility. Hence, we, we can pay. We can pay out of the business cash book. Business cash book. Mm. Because uh, checks uh, usually 
they used to bounce. Uh, fortunately, we have digital uh, banking and all that uh, oh, issue yeah. of yeah. unpaid things. Uh, Some of them are late, yeah. uh, uh, Hey, Mr. MM, please. Um, on the 10th of March, you pay the transfer duty of 900,000 red. It means that the business pays on behalf of Mr. Smith transfer duty. Mr. Smith business. Mr. Smith business. An amount of 90,000 red. And we're going to open a Mr. Smith business. At the same time, in the business ledger, we open Mr. Smith business account. We paid for him. He becomes our debtor, 90,000 rand. He owes us from business cash book, an amount of 90,000 rand. The difference between 90,000 rand, that was for transfer duty, then the balance, which is 22,500. I assume uh, it will be for transfer costs, attorney's transfer costs. It's becoming blurry, this thing. Ladies and gentlemen, I wonder on your side, how is it like? It's blurry. Yes, it's blurry. Ladies and gentlemen, I never touched it. I only touched it when it comes to, uh, I think it's a signal problem, sir. Signal? Uh, but this thing is here it, with me. There's no. There you are. I'm going to go pay the same one. Yeah. Hey, you are. Uh, um, on the 12th of March 2009, you receive a guarantee for 700,000 from a financial institution. The financial institution guarantees that it will, it will arrange a a loan for, for this guy and on registration of the property, they will pay 700,000 rand, uh, 700,000 rand. We don't do any much about that. It's, it's a guarantee I, I, letter. Sorry, I, I just letter. making a terrible noise at the back. Sorry for that. Uh, sorry, sir, I'm just sorry to interrupt. What about the 90,000 rand and the pro forma? Uh, on the 10th of March, you pay the transfer duty of 90,000 rand. It was a payment. This is... Oh, okay, thank you. It was a payment. We said we paid on behalf of him, we paid transfer duties. Out of the business account, we made him to be our debtor in our business account. And then you receive a guarantee on the 12th from a financial institution. And on the 31st of March, the transfer is registered to redeem the investment and receive 301,500. On this date, when you receive, when registration takes place, there are a number of things that you have to do. You have to receive this investment back. You receive the investment back. We send it back to the trust cash book. Trust cash book, an amount of 300,000 rand. 300,000 rand. You credit the investment account. You credit the investment account. We receive it back and we receive the aid from the investment from a section 86 for investment withdrawal 
which is 300,000 rand. That particular 300,000 rand, it had interest of 1,500. That interest of 1,500 is due to Mr. Smith. But out of the 1,500, Mr. Smith is entitled to 95. And the balance goes to the Legal Practitioners Fidelity Fund. One thousand four hundred and twenty five. One thousand four hundred and twenty five is a. Is a ninety five percent. What happens there? We receive. One thousand. One thousand. Four hundred and twenty five. Interest. This interest, we have to credit Mr. Smith. Trust. 1425, Mr. Smith Trust. We come to Mr. Smith Trust, we say trust cash book interest. 1425. Ladies and gentlemen, I have just calculated it to be 90. 5% of 1,500. If I'm wrong, you, you can interrupt me and say my calculation wasn't right. The difference between 1,425 and 1,400 is an amount of 75 rands. That 75 rand go to the Legal Practitioners Fidelity Fund. Legal Practitioners Fidelity Fund. We we credit the trust cash book. We receive that amount of 75 rands. On behalf interest. Legal practitioners fidelity fund 75 rands. And then we have to open. A legal practitioners fidelity fund. I've opened an account down here. Legal Practitioners Fidelity Fund account. And then we receive 70. Uh, they, uh, it, they are entitled to 75 rents. Trust. Cash book. There we are. Legal Practitioners Fidelity Fund, 75 rents. They say they say we charge. Sorry, Mr. Simon, for interrupting. Yes. Can you please move Sorry. up your page? Oh, okay. oh. That was a trust cash book. Trust cash book. And then uh, the reason I moved it up, it was to show you the legal practitioners for liability fund entitlement is 75 right? Sorry, we have Simon. Yes. I just want to double check with you. Is the amount that we're calculating 1,500 Jan or is it 301,500 Jan for the interest received? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we invested 300,000 Rand. Yes. Oh, having, okay, okay. Uh, having invested 300,000 Rand, when we withdrew it. They, they say we withdrew. Uh, we withdrew. Uh, where is it? On the first of March, the transfer is registered. You redeem the investment and receive three hundred and one five hundred. Because we invested three hundred thousand, we assume then the one thousand five hundred is the interest. It has grown by one thousand five hundred for those couple of days of the month. Thank you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I, I picked a mistake in the in the in the question. I, I'm not sure if you are aware of it, but we'll see how we will manage it. We'll follow it the way it is. But yeah. Now, when we are here, they say on the need first, you charge your fee of twenty two thousand eight hundred inclusive of VET. Transfer what you are entitled to. 
Oh, they say 22,800, it includes VAT. It makes sense. Ladies and gentlemen, we charge fees. I've said that for the fees, for the purpose of the fees, we have to do a fees journal. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, don't just credit fees in your in your ledger account. If you don't do a fees journal, you are, you'll lose marks. There is a fees journal. There is a fees journal. David and credit. You will end mass marks in the test or exam when you you account it in the fees journal. From the fees journal, you post to the relevant ledger account. Don't forget that step, ladies and gentlemen. They say you charge your fee of 22800 which includes VAT. And they said VAT is calculated at 14%. Let's leave it at that and transfer what you are entitled to and pay off all the parties who are entitled to the payment. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, because we are transferring to Mr. Smith, Mr. Smith pays the transfer cost. We debit Mr. Smith business, Mr. Smith business. With an amount of 22,800. This 22,800 is inclusive of VAT. Twenty two eight hundred is inclusive of VAT. This twenty two eight hundred represent hundred and fourteen percent. Are we agreeable, ladies and gentlemen? Twenty two eight hundred. Um, it is hundred and fifteen percent. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, at the top they said they said it's fourteen percent. Already they have done their calculation. The VAT is as indicated must be at fourteen percent. We know it's fifteen percent now. If they give you in a account in the in a in a test or in an exam, you have to to work at fifteen percent. But already in this twenty two hundred. Thank you. Three thousand one hundred and ninety-two should be. Uh, I beg yours. It should be three thousand one hundred and ninety-two. What? Fourteen percent of that amount. Fourteen percent of that twenty-two thousand eight hundred. No, it's included. <laughs> yeah, this rate is two thousand eight. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, on the 31st, uh, just for a moment, on the 31st okay. of March, you charge your fee of 22800 inclusive of VAT. Yes. It means that 22800 has VAT in it. The VAT is included, yes. The VAT is included. It's inclusive of VAT, this 22800. Now, to get the VET component, 22,800, you multiply by 100, you divide by 114. It means that it's 3,192. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I, 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 before I, I tackle this, this, uh, this particular... It's 20,000. Uh, this particular, I said there was a mistake. You remember, but I said I'll come to it. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, if you take 112,500, yes. 112,500 subtract 90, you get 22,500. And then they say inclusive of VAT is 22,800. Between the, between the 112,500, and then the 22,500, there's somewhere where they did a mistake. That's a mistake I was talking about. 
it was supposed to be 22. They should have made 22, 800 here. Yeah? But uh, ladies and gentlemen, remember, we accounted for 22, 500 in our cash book and everything. But here they've increased it with another 300. You see, are you, do, you understand me? do you understand sorry. me? Sorry that I interrupt you now. Ladies uh, and gentlemen, yes, I'm with you. Yes. Uh, uh, before you hello. interrupt. Hello. Uh, uh, before you yes, interrupt. Yes, Simon. May I assist they, here? Okay. No, uh, they said that they gave us two checks. One check was a deposit of 300,000. And the yeah. 112 for performer cost, respectively. And There's then no money in the bank. Uh, 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 and then that being the case, ladies and gentlemen, out of the 112,500, we paid 90, transfer 90, duties 000. of 90,000 rand. Yes. From oh, 112, yes. if you can't hear you. If, if you pay 90,000 rand, you are left with 22,500. Am I right? Am I right? Correct. Yes, correct. you're correct. Correct. Yes, you are left with 22,500. Simon, we can't hear you. Uh, when you are left with 22,500, but here they talk about 22,800. I said there's a mistake somewhere. Okay. You see, 22,800. It means that between the 112,500, uh, uh, please, FW, please mute. Uh, between that, there's a difference of 300 rands. I want us, yes. all of us, to agree whether to use the 22,800 or the 22,500. Because, take into account, already we accounted for 112,500 in there. We can proceed as it, it, it does, but there will be a shortfall of 300. But we can proceed, ladies and gentlemen. I suggest I don't mind. 2,500. Let's continue. Yes, please. let's continue with, with that. 22,500, it's a suggestion. 22,500. Otherwise, it will be Simon. 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 Yes, I'm listening. Simon. Yes, Mr. M. Yeah, the, 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 there won't be a shortfall here because there is interest. Remember, there's interest that this guy is going to get. So that interest will make up for the shortfall. Uh, no, we, we, mm -hmm. the interest, it has its own purpose. I'm talking about mm -hmm. 112,500. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, let, let's proceed. How do we let's account for... Yeah, let's continue. I gave you, uh, it said 22,800. Let's go with 22,800. It's a typo. Whoever does 22,500, 22,800, nobody will be wrong. Now it's 22,800 minus 20,000. The difference is VAT. Fees. Fees is 20,000 rent. And then VAT is 2,800. And then, and then the narration it says fees plus vet. Uh, we have passed that issue. And then the way, Mr. P, please, the way it is now we have to post this to the to the ledger. Mm -hmm. It's Mr. Smith. It's still Mr. Smith. We go to Mr. Smith business. Okay. Here is Mr. Smith business. Mm -hmm. We say that we debit Mr. Smith business, Mr. Smith business with 20,000 rand, Mr. Smith business with 22,800. We say fees plus VAT, which is 22,800. And then we credit fees and also credit vet we don't have a vet account ne? we have vet and then we have fees vet and fees debit credit vet value added tax out of that amount 
based on the fees, we said VET is 2,800. In the VET account, 2,800. Is for Mr. Smith. Business. And then the difference is 20,000 rand, which is fees. The fees account. Is 20,000 rand. Mr. Smith business. Twenty two eight hundred twenty two eight hundred. We accounted for that. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, there's one other statement that they have indicated at the, at the time of registration. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll, I'd like to take you back. I want to take you back here. They tell you there was Mr. Goodfellow is our a client of ours. This particular client has interest with you, with the practice, an amount of 500,000 rent, which he agrees to lend to Mr. Smith. Perhaps they know each other and Mr. Smith and is prepared to lend it to Mr. Smith. We have it in trust for him. Now we have to deal with it because it's a time of registration. Everybody has to be paid. In our previous exercise, I said you use a trust journal to transfer from one trust account to the other trust account. Here, I'm going to use a trust journal. Trust journal. The debit side, the credit side. This Mr. Goodfellow, we David Mr. Goodfellow, who we are holding money for him in our trust account. Mr. Goodfellow, they call him Mr. Goodfellow. No? We David Mr. Goodfellow. Mr. Goodfellow Trust, we credit him, we debit him with 500,000 rand. And then we credit Mr. Smith Trust. It means we take from one trust account to the other trust account that amount, 500,000 rand. And then we say, transfer from Mr. Goodfellow to Smith. Exactly what we have done here, we go to Mr. Smith trust account. Here is Mr. Smith trust yeah. account. Here is Mr. Smith trust account. They say Mr. Smith is credited with 500,000 rand. Mr. Smith Trust, we say is for Mr. Goodfellow. Trust. Mr. Smith, good, uh, Mr. Goodfellow Trust, an amount of 500,000 rand. He gives. Simon, we can't see the screen. Pardon? We can't see the screen. Okay, yeah. okay thank we, you. We, we, we credit Mr. Smith. Here is the transfer journal. We credit Mr. Smith with 500,000. There is a credit in Mr. Smith. It's 500,000 rand. And then we debit Mr. Goodfellow account. Mr. Goodfellow. I have to open a Mr. Goodfellow account. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'll just use this one. Mr. Goodfellow Trust. We debit, according to the trans, Trust Journal, we debit Mr. Goodfellow 
with 500,000 rand. Mr. Smith. Five hundred. Simon, can I ask you a question, please? Sorry. Um, they need said there that um, Mr. Goodfellow had a balance of near five hundred thousand. Are we going to show that as well? Uh, uh, what they told us. If they told us a balance, we could have opened Mr. Fellow. Uh, trust account with a balance. Here they say Mr. Goldfuller has interest with you the sum of 500, which he agrees to lend. Yeah, I, I, I suppose his, his balance, <laughs> I suppose his balance, he, he has interest with you the sum of 500 rand, which he agrees to send. I suppose his balance was 500,000. I, I agree with you. Now, if, if he if he, he he borrows this to his friend, it means that, and then he agreed they signed the contract. We are not involved after this. You are telling Mr. Goodfellow has interest with you the sum of five hundred, which he agrees to lend to Mr. Smith. That's what it, it says. Balance his balance was five hundred thousand rand. Now he is giving it to Mr. Smith. Mr. Smith is his uh, debtor. He is not our creditor anymore in a way but sometimes they say he is prepared to they don't tell you as to how much you are holding for him but this is for the purpose of facilitating that just to for you to show that you can use a a trust journal to transfer from one trust to the other trust perhaps you may earn a mark for five hundred thousand rand that's what we did. And then we have uh, Mr. Smith's trust. Mr. Smith's trust account. It has 412500, 1425, 900, and then it's like 900 and something. Is there anything to do with the bank? Not as yet. Yes, there's that 700,000 rent on that trust That's 700,000. We, we got the guarantee. Yes. Here, we got a guarantee from the bank of 700,000 rent. When transfer happens, it means that the bank pays the guarantee. And then in the trust cash book, on behalf of Mr. Smith, we receive the 700,000 rent. We receive 700 rent. Mr. Smith trust. It means he borrowed also from his, from a financial institution. And then 700 rand we received it here. We received it on Mr. on behalf of Mr. Smith. Trust, cash book. That loan for from the financial institution is 700 thousand rand. We have received that amount of money from the bank, uh, the financial institution. They, they just say financial institution, and then we have debit and credit there. Are you with me, ladies and gentlemen? Yes, we still follow. We still follow. We, we are not missing any step. Yes. Like, not yet. Not at all. Not today. yet. Not yet. Not at all. Uh, not at all today. <laughs> uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, now, comes Mr. Moluen. You see, the question is whether we have enough money in Mr. Smith's trust to pay Mr. Moluen the transfer, uh, the purchase price. How do we do it? We add all the figures in Mr. We all, all, all the figures in Mr. Smith's trust to check if there is enough money for the payment of the purchase price. Is an amount of four one two five hundred plus fourteen twenty five plus five hundred thousand plus seven hundred thousand. Ladies and gentlemen, we have an amount of one million six hundred and thirty red 
925. You are with me. This amount in here, it comes to 1 million 613. 925. It's 1,613,925. That's what is available. Whereas the purchase price is 1,500,000. It's 1,500,000. Yes. What needs to happen now? Now, we have to transfer the purchase price from uh, Mr. Smith, who has enough money, and we transfer it to Mr. Uh, Molueni, the purchase price. To transfer. Mm -hmm. Trust general. We do a trust general. We do have a trust general. We transfer from Mr. Smith to Mr. Mulwaney. Mr. Smith has a credit balance. Therefore, we debit Mr. Smith trust. The purchase price, 1,500,000. And then we credit. Mr. Molweni, his trust with one million five hundred thousand. One million Sorry, five hundred. Simon, can you please can you please move up your page? Thank you. And then we say a uh, transfer of purchase price. purchase price. Exactly what you did there, you go to Mr. Smith Trust. Here is Mr. Smith Trust. His, the general says that Mr. Smith Trust is debited with 1.5 million. Here is Mr. Smith Trust. We say Mr. Molweni Trust. One million five hundred thousand. And then we open the Mr. Molweni trust. Credit David. Mr. Molweni trust. Mr. Molweni, we, we debited this account the other one is credited with 1.5 million 1 million 500 is from mr smith's trust one million five hundred thousand mr yes. trust. and we have done that we have posted it now what we can do because that money already is in, in here. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, um, There's somebody who asked a question regarding Mr. Goodfellow, saying that uh, we had 500,000 rand from Mr. Goodfellow. That's what the question says. What we don't know is whether, but you are a student of law. You know, interpretation of statements and agreements and all those things, how, when you, you, you face, you are client, Mr. Goodfellow, has interest with you the sum of 500,000, which he agreed to lend to Mr. Smith. Ladies and gentlemen, in our 
trust cash book we have recorded all the receipts that we received during this month but we are not a new mm-hmm. firm but if we we held 500,000 in in mr for mr Oops. yeah ladies and gentlemen i propose that we put a balance of 500,000 right we include it in trust cash book i've got my reasons so why Second. Yeah, uh, I've got my reason why. Yeah, yeah, agreed. Otherwise, it won't balance. <laughs> you know, but why are we obsessed with with balancing things? Sorry, I, I, I'm not uh, meant to be rude. Now, the, because the most, if you're yeah. working with your trust money, then you can't be in it, but you have to balance. Yes, I, I agree. But yeah, you see, uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, unless if there's someone, I assume that we had 500,000 rent for Mr. Goodfellow, a balance of 500,000 rent. The reason I'm saying this is that if we, were, we, if we are going to pay Mr. Smith, uh, uh, I mean Mr. Molwen, if you don't enough, have enough money, you can't pay what you don't have. And then by including this correct by including this particular balance, it makes us you see, I, I, I've indicated that it should have been at the top. Uh, it yes, means that, of course. Yeah, yeah, it means that uh, it means that uh, we'll be able to pay and then we won't have some kind of a shortfall. It's a balance. It's yeah, there we are. Thanks very much, ladies and gentlemen. Um, having done this, now because we have we have Mr. Smith's trust, Mr. Smith has transferred, he's left with a certain balance in his in his in his trust account. We have a certain Mr. Goodfellow. Mr. Goodfellow is out of the picture because his money has been lent to someone. The person we who is entitled to receive the purchase price is Mr. Molwain. And then out of the trust cash book, we issue an EFT to Mr. Molwain, Mr. Molwain Trust. Mr. Molwain Trust, an amount of 1,500,000. One million five hundred thousand rand we pay to Mr. Molueni. What is due to him? And then we go to Mr. Molueni. There is it. We credit the trust cash book, and in Mr. Molueni we pay him this purchase price. Trust cash book purchase price. One million five hundred thousand. One million five hundred thousand rand. We paid Mr. Molweni one million five hundred thousand. In actual fact, Mr. Molweni, we've paid what is due to him. We've paid him what is due to him. Um, Mr. Goodfellow is done away with. Uh, the investment has been taken care of. I'm putting this away. Now, what we are left with, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we have certain creditors we have to pay. We have certain creditors we have to pay. We have certain creditors we have to pay. Uh, uh, legal practice council, we owe them 70 rents. Fidelity Fund. I'm looking for that. Uh... We owe them 75 friends. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, 
here is a legal practice fidelity fund. Usually they are paid on a monthly basis from the interest they earn. We owe the legal practitioners fidelity fund 75 rand. Now we were going to pay them. We issue an EFT legal practice fidelity fund. We pay them their 75 rand. 75 rands. Who else do we owe? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, now we come to this guy, um, Mr. Smith. Mr. Smith. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Smith business. Mr. Smith owes us <laughs> nine, 90. It's 112,800. Mr. Smith owes us 112,800. He owes the business 112,800. But ladies and gentlemen, if you check Mr. Smith, we already we have done a calculation here. It's 1613,925. Minus one million five hundred thousand. He's left with hundred and twelve, hundred and thirteen thousand nine hundred and twenty-five. One one yes. three nine two five. Ladies and gentlemen, that's where we use what we call a transfer journal between businesses and and transfer journal between business and trust. We are holding for. In Mr. Smith, we are holding for him 113,925. He owes us 112,800. It means that we have enough value in his trust so that he can pay the business. We are in business to make this money. Besides, we have also paid for him the transfer cost. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we have to do a transfer journal. We transfer from Smith Trust and we transfer to Smith Business. I said transfer journal. I labeled it as a, as a transfer journal. The debit side, the credit side of the transfer journal. We debit Mr. Smith Trust. We transfer, our transfer is limited to whatever he owes us. If he doesn't have enough, we transfer what we can transfer. We can transfer more if he doesn't have, but he has enough. He has. 1,100, Yes, and then it means that we transfer five. everything. We transfer everything that he owes us. We debit him with 112,800. And then we credit Mr. Smith business. With one one two eight hundred. There you are, ladies and gentlemen. And then here we say we transfer value. The value that is due to us is transferred from his trust, which we are holding for him to business which we hold it for him. Immediately we, we do this. We go to Mr. Smith business. Here is Mr. Smith business. We say Mr. Smith. Trust. One, one, two. Eight hundred. And Mr. Smith trust. We go to Mr. Smith trust. Here is Mr. Smith trust. We we David we credited Mr. Smith business with one one two eight hundred, which means that that account virtually there's nothing left in this account. 
There's nothing. It's one one two eight hundred. And then we credited this one. We debit the next account, which is Mr. Smith's trust with Mr. Smith business. One one two eight hundred. One one two eight hundred. Once, ladies and gentlemen, after we, we, after having done this, it means that we are taking account of the value that we are entitled to as a business. What is a value that we are entitled to? It's one one two eight hundred. That's what he used to owe us in his business account, and then we issue a check from trust, or we issue an EFT from trust. We transfer it to business. It can't sit in a creditors. It has to sit in our account. We say business cash book. We issue a check, business cash book, 112, exactly this figure, 112800. And then in the business cash book, we receive this money in the business cash book, which is trust cash book. One one two eight hundred. We received it in our business. What is entitled? What we are entitled to? Now, what is next? Uh, we have paid uh, fidelity. We have paid. Uh, we have paid the the seller. We, we have need to buy Mr. Smith's trust interest. Uh, Mr. Smith trust interest. We have to pay him. Uh, yeah. No, we 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 don't. We don't already. Mr. Smith interest. There is it. Oh, sorry. You thank you. Mr. Smith interest. Uh, we have already credited him with fourteen twenty-five. It's in the fourteen twenty-five. Take into interest. It's boost his account just to make sure that he will be able to pay the purchase price. Uh, ladies and gentlemen. Now, where we are, we have to check what is left in Mr. Smith account and what is left in the trust cash book. Uh, Mr. Smith that is 1613925. So 1613925. Minus one million five hundred thousand. Minus one one two eight hundred. Ladies and gentlemen, what is left in Mr. Smith's trust is eleven twenty five. Mr. Smith trust is left with eleven twenty five, an amount of one thousand one hundred ten, one thousand one hundred twenty five. Let's check our cash book. Because we've paid everybody who's entitled to whatever. Mr. Simon. Yes. May we please have a break? Uh, yeah. Can we have a? Can we have a? How many minutes? Ten minutes break. Or five minutes, just to go to the bathroom. Yeah, yeah. we will come back at twenty-five past. Uh, Thank you. It will be a seven minutes break. Okay, thank you, Mr. Simon. You're welcome. Yes. Yeah, hey. Very hectic, guys. Hey.
Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Are you there? Uh, uh, but at least one should be available. Hello. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Hello. We are Hello, Simon. We are back, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Uh, I've already, I've done a yes, calculation. I've yes, done a calculation sir. in Mr. Smith's trust account. Mr. Smith's trust account indicates an amount of 1125 balance. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I want us to balance, to calculate the trust cash book. Uh, I'm, uh, let's add the figures in the trust cash book. Uh, the, the debit side of the trust cash book, 412500 plus 300,000. Mm -hmm. Plus fourteen twenty five, plus seventy five, plus seven hundred thousand, plus five hundred thousand, plus five hundred thousand. It gives me one million nine hundred and fourteen thousand. Correct. Yeah, yes. That's correct. One million. 1914. 000. 1 million 914,000. And then we take the 1,914,000, we subtract 300,000. We subtract 1,500,000. We subtract 75. We subtract 112,800. How much does it give, give us? 1,125. Yes, 1,125. What do we do? We issue a check. No. We issue a check to Mr. Smith. Is a guy who we are holding a little bit of money for, Mr. Okay. Smith. Already we paid Molweni his purchase price. We paid the legal practice council. Uh, we paid ourselves. Now we issue an EFT to Mr. Smith Trust. Mr. Smith Trust. 11.25. And then Mr. Smith Trust is from the Trust Cash Book. 11.25. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the exercise, the second exercise that we, we have done, we have done for conveyancing. That's how it's done. And, and ladies and gentlemen, but have you noticed the trick, this particular trick here, the balance, in a sense that we should have opened our, our trust cash book with a balance of 500,000? Yes. Yes, and now, Everything is done. This is the exercise, and then if you have uh, done this exercise, you should get 30 marks for it. No. You should get 30 marks. If you have done it like this, you can uh, get 30 marks. If you have struggled with balancing, you can get 20 something. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, though we have balanced, but I'm not much obsessed with balancing. The only thing is for you to follow the steps. You follow the steps. You'll find that you'll gain more marks having followed all those steps, having opened your transfer journal, your fees journal, your trust journal. Those little journals on the side, they are, they are very important. And then once you have, 
you have done the, the journal, you post to the relevant ledger accounts. Mr. Simon. Yes. Hello, Mr. Simon. So, uh, so one Mr. At Simon. I, I may have to uh, one at a time. One at a time, please. Hello. Yes, sir. The very first person who said Mr. Simon. Any question? Hello. Mr. Simon, hey, sorry, this is me. Um, right in the beginning of the assignment, we have got two payments, a 300,000 and a pro forma yeah. payment. Yes. Um, would I be wrong if I put um, the 400 and 12, 500 in the trust and then immediately after do the transfer to the bank cash book to do the 90,000 payment from there? Uh, you, well, uh, the, the rules of, the rules of uh, all money that you receive on behalf of a client, it has to go to trust. Trust. You receive somebody's money, you can't put it in your bank account, your your, your business bank account. You have to put it in a trust bank account. I'm not sure I'm understanding your question correctly. Yes. No, I'm, I'm asking. I, I, I deposit the four hundred and twelve five hundred in the in the trust cash book. Yes, but yes. then I do a transfer journal from the trust cash book to the uh, bank cash book. The the hundred and twelve five hundred. Uh, uh, yesterday, ladies and gentlemen, I started with a certain exercise where I say that, uh, in fact, also, if you look, you read your guide, ladies and gentlemen, journals, the journals that we use in accounting uh, doesn't involve a flow of cash. Journals, we use journals, they are just uh, there's no flow of money. The flow of money that happens within a business environment, it has to be done in the cash book or bank account. Yes. You can receive money and use a journal while receiving money. It has to be used in the trust cash book. Journal I use for the for the transfer of the value. Value. The, value. Yes. value. That's yes. why you see, uh, Eva, what you have just said, one, one key thing is that we transfer when we, we paid ourselves as a business, we transfer from trust and transferred it to business. After transferring value from trust to business in a form of a transfer journal, that's when we issued a check. You transfer it first and then you issue a check from trust to business. That's why journals are used for non-flow of, there's no cash flow when you use uh, uh, journals. I understand, receive, sir. Thank you. Receive money in your trust. Receive money in your trust. <coughs> and trust cash book or trust bank account. And then, and, and then also credit the relevant account. Step by step. So Any uh, other question? Talk? Another the, question on this. Yes, the, the other question is, 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 is not a question, per se, Mr. Simon, but it yes. is of gates. How important it is in respect to the assessment, assessment that we are actually expecting in the exam. The issue of gates. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, mm -hmm. just to be on the safe side, uh, write the date. Write the date. I won't say don't write the date. Write the date. Uh, mm -hmm. Write the date. Uh, okay. You have to plan your time properly so that you write the date. Now we are under pressure. Uh, I don't write the dates. Uh, I didn't write the dates, but uh, I'll advise you write the dates. Any other questions? Ladies and gentlemen. So is it correct oh, to sorry. say? <laughs> uh, can uh, I please see your SMIT trust account? Just all the pages. I want to confirm something here. Yeah? Smith Trust Account. Yes, please. There's Mr. Smith Trust Account. Yes. Uh, oh, you'll okay. excuse me. Ladies, so that you will be able to see, we write with a cookie pen. 
so that you can see properly. Yeah. But also the the business account, Smith business account. Here is Mr. Smith business account. 112,800 on the right hand side, and then 90,000 yeah. plus 22,800 on the left hand side. Thank you so much. So, uh, Mr. Simon. Yes. Would it be then correct to say that for these kind of uh, exercises, we, 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 there are two, uh, two key things we need to bear in mind, at least for me, that okay for for we need to have a, a trust account and a business account but for both uh, of those then you also need to have a trust cash book as well as a business cash book so one of them is is a mirror image of the other and whenever you enter one in one you need to enter in the uh, the, the other mirror one uh, in an opposite way so uh, if you enter a date in the cash book then you uh in the the ledger one which is the trust account you credit is that one and the yes, same uh, okay yeah, ladies and gentlemen the most important thing is that we operate on a double entry system you credit one account you have to credit another account uh, when you receive money uh, in the trust cash book you receive it from somewhere it means that you hold money in trust for for a trust creditor in this case our trust creditor was mr smith Therefore, we credited Mr. Smith. Credit, it means that he's a creditor. That's why we credited his account. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. I, I'm not sure the question of mirror image, but uh, you have to debit one account where we receive money. And then whoever gives us money to hold for him, we credit him. He's our creditor. Once you debit one account, you have to credit another account. The other mm -hmm. one you have to credit. If you miss one credit, then you'll say uh, it's not balancing because we have missed one step okay uh, sorry sir. um and 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 one other thing that you mentioned mr smith if you have mr smith trust you receive money from him the fact that mr smith gave you money in trust it means that at some point in time there is an expectation that there's something you're going to do for him hence mm -hmm. at some point in time immediately you do something for mr smith you are in business, then you have to end fees. Mm -hmm. Then if you end fees, your fees are in your business account. Hence, mm -hmm. you will have Mr. Smith business. He'll be a data in your business account. Mm -hmm. okay. And then to pay yourself, you will transfer from his trust to his business to pay yourself. Once you transfer from trust to business, then you can issue a, tra a trust checkbook into your business. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the payment you pay from trust account, you pay amount into your business account. Mm -hmm. And then, um, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, they say we sh if you are a practitioner, you shouldn't mix trust and business. Your business account should be separate accounts and your trust account should be separate accounts. When the law society sends its auditors, it comes to audit your your trust account. Um, that whatever you are holding in trust is represented in the trust creditors that I'm holding 500,000 in my trust cash book and I also have 500 value on the credit side. I have Mr. Smith, Mr. Goodfellow and everything. When you add Mr. Goodfellow, Mr. Smith, and the others, it makes the same amount that I'm holding in trust. They need to reconcile. Yeah. Um, Mr. Makulo, can I yes. please ask you two next questions? Um, is the Dorcas going to also publish the answer for question 13? Because I see that that is um, 40 marks, 4 zero. So I would be interested to see how the books will differ. And then also, I would like to know what are we going to do Saturday? What are we going to cover Saturday? Uh, Saturday, we're starting at nine. Uh, perhaps we'll have a break and then a lunch. Um, we have to do correspondence. Uh, I, I, I'll start with, with, with convincing, perhaps 13, the, the 40 marks one. Let's do the 40 marks one, the convincing exercise. 
and then after that uh, I need to do exercises where you extract uh, you extract uh, your trust trust balances to check that all the balances that you hold in trust they reconcile with what you have in your trust cash book. We need to do a, an exercise like that. And then we have to do conveyance. I mean, um, correspondence where somebody you issue instruction to somebody to collect money for you in Devon, a correspondent or where a correspondent does business uh, 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 or where you do a correspondent for somebody. They send you instruction to do correspondence for you. Thank you very much. Those are the ones that I, I, I would like us to do because they like them in, in the test. Uh, sorry, sir, can I quickly check the business cash book? Your business cash book? Thank Here's you, the sir. business cash book. Oh, thank you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you have if you have time in the exam, you can even balance it. Uh, uh, you can even balance your business cash book. If you have time in the exam, you say one, one, two, less 90, and then you say balance carry brought forward. Yeah, you can do that. So will we get demos for the rest of the questions that we haven't covered in the exercise? We will get what? Will, may we get memos for the rest of the questions we haven't covered in the exercise? Um, I, I may select a few and do them. I can't do all of them. There are too many. 43, uh, if I'm not mistaken, there are 43 questions. Um, uh, let me oh. check how many there are. Um, uh, it's like 29 questions or so. I'll do some. Uh, I have to, uh, if you could understand, they take time also. I can do some and then send you, send Docas a memo to post for you. I, I'll select some and send them to you. Thank you. Okay, thank you, sir. Uh, you are writing on the 13th, thank ne? You. Yes, yes, on the 13th. Yes. Uh, perhaps uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, next week, I, I'll do some and send you some of those questions. Any other questions regarding okay, this exercise? You. Are we not having a class tomorrow? Huh? There's no class tomorrow. Mr. Simon, yes. So mm -hmm. I've got a question just on the investments. Uh, yes. The section 86.4, I understand you must do that as soon as possible when the client makes a deposit. How um, must all money that goes into a trust account, uh, how long must it be in the trust account before you have to put it in some kind of an investment account? Uh, uh, usually, uh, uh, the, the, the rule says that all money that you receive in trust belonging to your trust creditors, you have to put it in a trust account. Uh, for for you to invest in a special 86 for trust account, you need to get instructions. In fact, to an extent that they say it has to be written instruction from a line saying that invest this amount specifically for me in an 86 because I want to earn interest from that account. If you don't get that kind of instructions, you invest it in your normal trust account, which is a section 82, uh, a section 86.2. For 86.4, they have to be special instructions that invest it because I, while waiting for the transfer i need to be earning income on that uh, particular account in a sense that it will end because if it, it's left in the section 86 to trust account the in the interest that ends there automatically the banks pay it to the legal practice council the whole of it legal practitioners fidelity fund it goes to the if it's in 86 to it goes to the for it. Uh, 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 sorry. Can you please mute? We want to listen to the lecturer.
Ladies and gentlemen, it seems as if we have no more questions. But any questions, please. Can we continue, please? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are left with 15 minutes. And I've opened it for you to ask me questions regarding this, not for you to... If there's nothing more to ask me, ladies and gentlemen, I, I propose that we adjourn today. Because in 15 minutes, uh, I'm prepared to answer any of your questions regarding what we have done today. Even, yes. Simon? Yes, I'm listening. Simon, uh, yes, Mr. Sorry, uh, when we have. Uh... Yeah, it's, it's, it's myself here. I see that there are about one, two, three, four, five hands raised. Yes. Yeah. I can't see them here. I can't see anything. I can't there see is, them. There is Eloy's hand up. There is Kay's hand up. There is non Tobacco's hand up, there is Mateo's hand up, and there's Anna Marie's hand up. Also, Kumele Miti, Miti's hand is up. Yeah, I, I, I can't see. I, I'm not sure. Uh, let me just check if I. Uh, oh, there you are. Uh, um, oh, there is HH. Let's hear HH. Who's HH? That is Eloise. Hi, Mr. Um, Simon. I'm covered. You're my covered. question, yes, my question has already been answered during yes. your lecture. Yes, yes. And, and, so, and, 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 uh, you can do it. Uh, uh, put your hands down if you don't mind. Put your hand down, then H H. Uh, okay, I'll uh, do so. I just. There is also Pumelele means his hand is up. And there is Matteo's hand is up. I don't know whether these people have forgotten to put their hands Mat down. Matteo, let's hear. But we, so sorry for interrupting. But where do you do you just click on the hand again to lower your hand? Exactly. Yes. Just click okay. on the hand. Okay. So sorry for that, guys. No, it's okay. It's okay. It's understandable. I I, 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 only, I only see there is this. Uh, it's now Sunday, so his hand is up. Hello, say. Yes. Is there any problem when naming these accounts as purchaser and seller instead of Smith and Molweni? Uh, could you repeat uh, your question? Uh, what, what I'm saying is that when naming these accounts, instead of saying Mr. Smith's uh, trust, you're saying that the purchaser's trust and um, Molweni, you're saying that to the seller's trust. Is there any problem with that? Uh, uh, I say use the name that they have given you, Mr. Smith mm -hmm. Trust or Mr. Molweni Trust. Uh, if they said purchaser and seller, you can use mm -hmm. the name purchaser trust and uh, seller trust. Okay, uh, so thank you. But use whatever they They've given okay. so that you can identify them. Thank you so much. Uh, I, I can see. There is a person whose name is capital K. And there is also Pumelele Miti. Two hands are up. Uh, unfortunately, I can't see. Let me just check. Yeah, what I'm, I'm just saying maybe these people have forgotten and they are not. To know their hands. Yeah. yeah, because we now this is the second call on their on them. Then we can, we can conclude that they, they are no more interested in putting questions to you. Oh, there, there is a K guest, and then there's Pumelele Miti. Yeah. Pumelele. Yes, uh, ask your question. Uh, Pumelele, I can't hear you. <coughs> is that Pumelele? Pumelele. Yes, uh, you, you may ask a question. Pumelelo, speak into the mic. I can't hear you. Uh, uh, let it no. be louder. Uh, there's no there's no audio there I can hear. 
Sorry, I'm going to jump in here. Mpumalelo, I think you have earphones plugged into your phone. Maybe remove them and then speak. Try to speak uh, louder. Can you, can you hear me better now? Yes, yes. Um, so the middle part is really too fun. The middle part is now, so it's going to be five rounds from the interest end. So, why don't you think you gave it that amount to the middle part? Uh, uh, Pumelele, what has happened is Mr. Smith invested money in an Section 86 for account. And then the rules of the law society says that if uh, you as a practitioner invest money on behalf of your client and you know, you earn interest, according to the rules of the leg practice council, your client, you have to give your client uh, out of the interest that he earns or she earns, the client is entitled to 95% of the interest. The 5% has to be paid to the legal practitioner's fidelity fund. Those are the rules of the uh, as the Legal Practice Act. Those are the rules. That's the way you, you, you don't pay the client the whole amount. You just pay the client 95%. 5% goes to the legal practice fidelity fund, but you know it's a part of the insurance that pays for uh, money that is sort of, there is a shortage in trust fund. It's, it's like an insurance. It insures the client because if a client, if supposing you invest in an 86, section 86 for on behalf of a client and that money, that bank is liquidated and the client can recover the money. That five percent is part of the insurance that is paid so that a client can claim from the legal practitioner's fidelity fund the amount that he invested through a practitioner and it was supposed to do legal related work. Not for speculation purpose. The money should be invested for the purpose of executing certain legal work, not for speculation purpose. Hence that five percent mm -hmm. is an insurance money. Okay, um, thank you. Bushang. Bushang, your mic is... Uh, Bushang? Yeah, can you hear me now? Yes, yes, I can hear you. Okay, maybe... I think I made a mistake in the previous exercise, but when I'm looking at question 11, we accounted for in the... in the Happy Trust, we accounted for LPFF. But now in question 12 for Mr. Smith's trust account, is, we didn't account for that 75 friend. Why is that? We only uh, account for 1,425 on the, on the uh, credit. Uh, the, the 75 friend is not for Mr. Mr. Smith has ended by investing it, mm -hmm. but uh, uh, he, he, he received 1,000, he received 1,500. Out of that 1,500, 75% of what his end as interest is taken away from him as part of the insurance and it has been paid to a legal practitioner's fidelity fund. We, we have accounted for it. But so it's, not, it's not Mr. Smith's entitlement. He earned it. He earned 1,500. Out of the 1,500, the law practice uh, council rules and the Legal Practice Act says, take 5% of the interest, pay it to the Legal practice, uh, Practitioner's Fidelity Fund. It's part of the insurance. Yes. Because if he were to lose that amount that he invested, the same client, Mr. Smith, will be going to the Legal Practitioner's Fidelity Fund and claiming that a practitioner or a bank has been liquidated who, to whom I have entrusted my money. Hence, the 5% caters for that kind of insurance. So we don't account for it in this trust account. It, it has nothing to do with Mr. Smith. Mr. Smith and it, but before it's paid from the bank, directly it, 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 it comes to our cash book. All right. The whole 1,500 comes to our cash book, but we don't pay to Mr. Smith all of it. We pay Mr. Smith 75, the other five 
percent it goes to the legal uh, practitioners fidelity fund I uh, thank you uh sandy siloken sandy siloken yes hello sir hello sandy hi i just want to know with regards to yesterday's exercise on mr a long harm will you be able to provide us the model answer for it as well Miss, uh, all right. A long yes, I, arm. Yes, I, I will do that one also. Okay, yes. thank you so much. That's Moleta. all. Moleta. Moleta SB. Moleta SB, your hand is up. Uh, Michelle. Hi, Mr. Um, Simon, I'm confused now. Yesterday, you taught us that the um, the rule of law um, in regard to investment is that 95% um, is payable to the trust credit and 5% to the legal fidelity fund. But you just mentioned 75% and 5%. I'm confused now. No, 95% and 5%. 95. Now you must, yeah, so it's not 75%, it's 95%. 5%. My, my my apologies. I said 95, perhaps. Okay, it was a slip of a time, Michelle. Thank um, you, Mr. Simon. Moleta SB. Moleta, your hand is up. Uh, it seems as if there's no other questions. And then, uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you on, uh, on Saturday at 9 o'clock. Already, we, we still have a couple of minutes, but, but I see... There are no more hands up. I just see Moleta SB, her hand was up, uh, MS. Uh, I don't know if it's he, is a he or a she. And then Pumelele's uh, hand is still up. Bouchang's hand is still up. Francois. Hello, Francois. Uh, good evening, Mr. Simon. Yes. Um, my, my question is, uh, it was this question 12 we just um, conducted. Um, so the first step we did was we posted in the debit side in the trust cash book the 412,500. Yes. Um, the second step we did, we invested 300,000 into the yes. section 86. Um, yes. Four. Yeah. Um, okay. So the the third step we did was we credited and the business cash book 90,000 rand. Um, and we debited Mr. Smith's business account with the 90,000 rand. I yes. think I, it, this is my confusion because I, I, I don't understand how can we make a payment in the business cash book if there's no money in the business cash book and only on a later stage we received on the yeah. debit side. Yes, um, yes, Francois, the reason is because um, we are a continuing practice and we assume that the, we are not starting a new business now. It's a practice that is established. It's either in our practice we have money and then, or alternatively, if we don't have money, we have a overdraft facility with the That's bank right. in our business cash book. And the reason is because in the past, uh, when we, we used to receive uh, payments from our trust creditors in the form of a check. And then if you could remember, checks in the past, they used to take seven days to clear. But the, 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 the process, uh, life needs to go on. Hence, it means that you have to receive money. You have to wait until it's cleared. And when it's cleared, that's when you'll, you'll start uh, executing your, your mandate. The reason we use the business cash book was, I don't know, going forward, perhaps because of the introduction of EFT, there may be changes the way business will be done. But for now, the suggestion is that do it that way, pay out of the cash, because uh, take into account what we're dealing with here, we're dealing with checks. I'm not sure you can tell me also, guys, how often is an EFT returned as being unpaid? 
Because no, I'm, I'm the, happy, sir, with the. I'm happy with the. Um, no, I understand it like this. And for accounting purposes, I believe that is the right way to do it. And even for our exam purposes, yeah, I will yes, continue yes. with this method. So I thank you for that. All right. Shane. Shani. Shani. Shani me. Meya. Shani Meya. Hi, sir. Sorry, my computer is very slow. Mm. Um, I just want to ask a very stupid question. It's about the fees and the VAT. Um, whenever I calculate VAT, I don't get to 800. I get 3192. I just want to make sure about that, please. Uh, when you calculate VAT, you, you get? At 3192. Uh, what have you used uh, as a percentage? You used 14. Uh, uh, they said they said it's 22,800. They said the fees and vet uh, it was inclusive, saying that it's 22,800. Yes. And then to get the uh, to get your figure, you have to multiply 22,800 by by a hundred, and you divide by 114. Multiply by 100, divide by 114. Or multiply by 14, divide by 114. Okay, thank you. I appreciate it. Yes. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, there are no more hands up. Uh, all the people, uh, Andrew. Andrew. Yes. Hi, Mr. Simon. I'm, I'm just. Uh, I'm just curious. Um, in your own practice, what accounting software do you make use of? <laughs> well, why do you want to know? Are you selling? Are you selling software? No, I'm, uh, I'm just curious as to when you set up, what is a, a good software to use? Zoom, 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 zoom. Ah, but <laughs> uh, yeah, you have to search around and find what. Hello. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I'm not here to answer question about me, but unfortunately, uh, Zoom, 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 Ladies and gentlemen, there is a feedback that is coming. I think uh, we'll meet again on Sunday because there is a lot of noise, unfortunately. Bye-bye. Uh, I'll see you on Saturday. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. Simon. Thank, Thank you, Mr. Simon. Bye. 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 Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. 